What up channel, this is 4Play and this is iGame episode 12 or 13, I'm not really sure what we're at right now, but that doesn't matter, this is CCF Havana, and this is from the 360 Icons tournament that I did with uh, Fearless, Sharp, and Immortal, uh, sitting 11-1 and one on the second side of Havana CTF, you'll see me originally do this pre-nade, I like to throw it just to stop the initial rush towards the fountain, and then I see Fearless is going to play towards the yellow side, so I'm going to reset, run all the way back towards the other side of the map, and try to push towards the red. If we get a clean push like this and we take over Fountain, that means they're doing a horrible job and just giving us the Fountain control. Sharp runs through that kid. And now I'm going to play this card. I like to play this card because I can get his cutoffs really well. You're going to see a mistake I made. Right as he pulls the flag, there is no reason for me to push up because the flag is already engaged and going bottom red. So I shouldn't push up like that just because there's no reason to. If the flag wasn't moved, then it's cool. Go push up, get on the yellow dumpster, and then I could start spawn killing. But if the flag's in the move like that, you always want to stay in your position because that's what getting the cutoff is. Make sure that you have his help um, to where he doesn't struggle trying to run the flag. As I think right now we're up like ridiculous amount of caps. That's not why I chose this. I chose it just so you guys could see like how I play. But I think we're up like 4-0 or 5-0 or something. There I'm going to try to push up on the dumpster. I'm going to see this guy run in the window instead. So I'm going to get that easy kill. And then I'm actually going to try to pull the flag here in a second. I thought they called out that there was someone still alive backside. So I'm going to stutter on the flag a little bit, miss it, and then finally get out of here. Obviously, I'm going to uh, switch to my python right here and keep running. And then what I like to do is when I t turn like major corners or like mainstream areas where gunfights happen, I like to have my primary out just in case. Just because I'm not like a superhero with the python, so I can't like just dominate kids all day with that. And I'd rather have a primary. But obviously, you do run faster with your pistol out, so why not do it? In this situation, I'm actually going to... This all right, This situation helps. With the flagging route like that and me getting taken out, I'll actually rather die by that guy. Um, I really couldn't have known he was up there, but it's better that I die because he was their last chance. So that kid got selfish. Instead of shooting the flag carrier when he came and like waiting, he took me out instead. So we found him and got the kill. This is the same situation. I'm just going to try to push over and take over red eventually once I see that Fearless already has yellow. So I like to normally play bar in more of a support role just because um, a lot of the times I would run like a 74U and kind of play that campier role. And then lately I've been running a FAMAS and trying to play the support just because uh, in tournaments it seems like so much, like the game has slowed down so much and people play more of, uh, I don't, I don't want to say campy, but just more of like a slower style of gameplay. So. In this situation, I'm actually going to push up and play the corners here in a couple seconds. Uh, playing the corners is one of these situations where you can get like crazy amounts of kills if you play it right. When you push up and play the corners, basically you're controlling the Rebo. If, uh, if you control the Rebo spawn, which you'll see a guy just spawn there, just like this, then you're just going to keep getting kills over and over. You just need to know when to get out of their spawn and when you can dance around in there. That was a horrible stun, by the way, but... So right here, I'm going to continue to just dance on the spawn. And then after I get this kill, I need to have better awareness that they spawn backside yellow. And there's definitely going to be a guy backside yellow. Because with, uh, I think it's Fearless at the Fountain, that means the backside yellow is the only spawn. So he should be in front of me, which he is just like that. Once I know nobody else is in the bar, yet again, I can just dance around and um, keep toying with kids in the yellow. I like to do this little head glitch here and wait. And just kind of peek up whenever I feel like it type of thing. And then go back and play the corners. It's kind of easy because a lot of kids don't check all of yellow. They just like to get through and get to the bar alley. So you can kind of just dance on kids. But you'll see me cook this nade here. Unfortunately, I didn't get a kill with it. But still, yet again, I'm just going to push up and try to play the corner. I'm going to see that guy. Uh, pre premature shots there. I definitely shouldn't have shot. I should have waited. But this kid, he's lost. I don't know if <laughs> what he's doing. But So playing the top yellow, what you want to do is... You want to try to play the corners of the map, or you, if you know how to play it like this, you could definitely do it. You want to try to just push up, play yellow, play the corner. Just be that much of a distraction as you can while the flag carrier is an easier route. Because what you want to do is cut off yellow side of the map. You want to take over about 75% of the map. Give them 25%. Give them their small little corner up back there to the left take over the fountain side and then once you take over that fountain side it's easy routes for your flag uh, once you get like two or three dead but me seeing shots at top red I didn't even bother turning around to take them out because I was just kind of going straight for the flags and you'll see here with only like a minute or two left actually with 26 seconds left, I'm sorry all we were thinking about was pushing up and maybe trying to get one more cap but I think at this point in time we're up like 10 to 0 or something crazy and yet again, I chose this game just so you guys could see me play yellow, uh, yellow side of the map. And 
in this situation same thing just don't be greedy i think everyone on our team i have two caps everyone else has three and then somebody else has two so don't be greedy i'm gonna finish this game 21 and 5 i wish i had more time to talk to you guys about everything that happened but yeah like i said uh 7-0 this was i game hope it helps and take care